Hey, how's it going? Welcome to another Tandem Cross video. I'm Luke, and today we're gonna to be discussing the magazines for the Ruger Mark IV 2245. But firstly, I just wanna thank everybody who's been subscribing to our channel, liking our videos, and leaving a comment. We really appreciate that. Your support goes a long way, and let's get into the video. So today we're gonna to discuss some upgrades that you can do to your factory Ruger Mark IV 2245 magazine that's gonna increase the reliability, the durability, give it ergonomic improvement, and add capacity so you quite literally get more bang for your buck. But first, let's talk about what parts actually make up one of these magazines. First, you have your magazine body, you have your follower, you have your follower button, there's a spring in there I can't really show you, as well as a plunger at the bottom, and then you also have your magazine base plate. These factory mags are pretty good, but I do wanna talk about some upgrades you can make to the parts that I just mentioned to take it from good to great. So let's take the mag apart, lay out all the parts, and get started on some upgrades. All right, now that we're overhead, I have two mags here. I have the factory mag and I have the fully upgraded, fully tandemized mag. I'm gonna set that aside because we'll talk about the parts and upgrade them as we go. So the first thing I'm gonna do is actually take this mag apart. I recommend if you're doing this to always wear glasses or some sort of eye protection because there is springs under tension and uh, that can be bad news bears for your eyes. All right, so let's do this in super speed. Now that I've laid out all the parts, I wanna mention that these upgrades come in packs of two or three so you can upgrade multiple mags at a time. They will also work with a standard Mark IV magazine with the exception of the bumper we're about to upgrade, uh, but we do have an option for standard models for that, so I'll mention that later in the video. Let's start with our first upgrade, the Maximus Plus One followers. These followers are gonna allow you to have an additional round in your magazine, and it's also very bright red, so you can clearly see that there's no rounds in the magazine if you're trying to check to make sure it's empty. It's made from Zytel, which is incredibly durable and super easy to install. I've just done it just like that. Next, we're gonna move on to upgrade number two, which is gonna be the brass follower buttons. These buttons offer much smoother movement due to the non-galling brass uh, material that reduces friction. They're super awesome. You can feel how smooth they are um, just by playing with the mag and pushing down the follower. Um, you just don't get the gritty friction that you get in the factory buttons, and these are great to have as a replacement or for backups and are super easy to install. I'm gonna do it right now as I'm talking. Um, all you gotta do is back it, back the follower up on the track right here, and you could do this with the factory, uh, the factory follower if you want to. You don't need to upgrade to the Maximus. And uh, I installed them on the left side, so pulling the follower down the track, uh, race track, whatever you want to call it, and then just taking your brass button and just popping it in the hole, just like that. And thirdly, we're gonna upgrade the spring. Um, we're gonna use green springs. These come in a pack of three, just like this, and are very affordable and are very durable, more durable than the factory springs. They're specifically designed and tuned to decrease the odds of failures to feed, things like that. Also, super, super easy to install. These are also great to have um, as backups, so keep that in mind. So I'm gonna go ahead and take off the plunger. We're gonna be using the factory plunger for this. I'm gonna set the spring aside. You know which one is which, uh, because the green springs are literally green. To install it, I'm just gonna stick the plunger on the end of the spring, just like that. And again, this is the factory plunger. And then you can go ahead and just feed the spring up into the magazine, just like that. And finally, the last part we're gonna need to get this magazine fully upgraded and functional are the base pads. These mag bumpers have more real estate at the bottom than the factory mags do, meaning you don't have to sit there and pry it out of the mag well because it won't sit flush and it will add a nice little bit to grab onto when doing mag switches. We are going to be upgrading to the Mark Pro bumpers for 2245. If the Mark Pros aren't your style, we also have Tomahawk bumpers for the 2245. And if you have a standard Mark IV, we make Mark Pro bumpers for those as well. But keep in mind that the bumpers for the standard Mark IVs are not compatible with the Mark IV 2245s and vice versa. For the sake of the video, we're gonna be installing the Mark IV 2245 bumpers. So get those open. So the first thing I'm gonna to do to install this bumper is actually put the bottom of the base pad on. It's a little plate onto the bottom. It's branded, so you can see it. Um, and then I'm gonna put these together and then grab the included screw and drop it down into this hole here. Grab a small Phillips head. This is gonna be probably pretty hard to do on a squishy table. And just tighten it down until they are secured together. And there we go, the bumper is complete and now we can actually install it to the magazine body. In order to install the bumper, this is why we mentioned that you should be wearing eye protection. 
Um, you're going to be feeding the spring and plunger down back into the body. I like to make sure that I'm grabbing it in small increments and pinching it and then pushing it through. Otherwise, you may uh, have a spring bind. But then I'm going to take my thumb and make sure it's over this plunger. And I'm going to grab the uh, bumper. And there's little cutouts here for the magazine ears, which I probably should have showed you before I did this. You can see that there's little uh, inverted pieces here that kind of grab onto the magazine bumper. I'm going to use the magazine bumper to hold that plunger in place and then slide the bumper over the plunger to the rear of the magazine. And just like that, we've upgraded our magazines. We now have an extended base pad, which you can use to change mags much easier without having to uh, you know, reach in there and try and pull it out of the mag well. There's a little bit more real estate to grab onto now. We've got the upgraded spring. It's gonna last a lot longer. The follower button, which is very smooth. This is very satisfying just to sit here and play with it like that. And then the plus one follower there. Awesome magazine, ready to go. And just like that, just about as fast as you can go through a 50 round box out on the range, we've upgraded our magazines to be fully tandemized and optimized for some serious plinking or some competition. I wanna thank you guys for supporting and watching the video. Make sure you guys leave a subscribe and like this video, leave a comment, say hi, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Make sure to like, subscribe, and share this video on whatever social media platform you use. I'm Luke with Tandem Cross, and we're here to make your good guns great. Keep up with us on social media for daily updates. I'll see you next time.